Grounding issues on your C5? Let's get to the source. Well, welcome back guys to another fun episode here on Bet on Bets. I got a new shirt. My wife got me. I'm not even Irish. Don't tell anyone. So yes, if you're not familiar, if you're new to C5 Corvette ownership, grounding issues can be a gremlin that's very frustrating. You'll get a lot of weird electrical issues and not really know where to start. And nine times out of 10, any electrical issue with your C5 Corvette can be rectified with a ground, a simple ground issue. There are nine grounding points from the factory on the C5 Corvettes. We will go through all nine of them today, where you can find them and what each one goes to, or what, it, what electrical source is grounded by that point, if that makes sense. So hopefully, if you have a weird grounding issue, uh, I can point you in the right direction with the specific component you're having issue with, i.e. running lights, radio, miscellaneous sensor on your dash, DIC, you name it. I'll show you where you can find that grounding point and how to properly clean the grounding points on your C5 Corvette because they can get gummed up after a while. But it's pretty simple to get them all cleaned up and working like they should. Using a figure I found on the internet here and other sources to find out exactly which one goes where, uh, we'll start at number one on the figure and work our way around the car and I'll explain which each grounding point goes to, to its respective electronic system. All right, here on the passenger side of the car, um, some of these you will be able to see, some of them I'll point you in the right direction where to find it exactly in the car without taking it apart, but number one. There's going to be a grounding point right inside this plastic cover, right below the seatbelt here, about two feet down, right kind of where the seatbelt goes into the little receptacle. That is your first grounding point. That's also a splice pack as well. Now, this is the source for all the things I'm about to say, but sometimes they're spliced in at a further down location if that makes sense, but this is the source of your grounding issue for any of the following things. Your seat relay, passenger seat pump, passenger rear compartment courtesy lamp, right compartment courtesy lamp, left rear compartment lid latch, rear compartment lid latch, left folding top lid latch, folding top release switch, fuel door lock actuator, and radio power antenna. All of those can be sourced back to right behind the passenger seat behind this piece of plastic. All right, the next two are gonna be on your left and right frame rails. In the left, they're gonna be outboard the tub here, under the carpet, of course, and underneath the plastic. Probably easier to get it from inside the fender, but it's in this region right here. On the passenger side, this number two ground point simply controls the electronic suspension control module. Easy enough. That's all I can find this one does. So we'll go ahead and move on to number three. Number three, you can find on the driver's side, under the carpet, under the tub, or from outside in the wheel well, probably easier to access it that way. This is gonna ground your fuel pump and cinder assembly. Fuel level cinder. All of your rear lights in the back are gonna be grounded by this point. Your backup lamp as well, um, license plate lamp, markers, uh, et cetera. So pretty much all your, your rear lighting, your fuel pump, fuel type situation, this point right here. All right, number four, we're on the driver's side now, just inside the uh, the door frame here. Very similar to where the one on the passenger side, there's a grounding point right inside the plastic right here. Very similar to the passenger side, but omitting a few things. This is your driver seatbelt switch, seat control module, driver seat pump, driver seatbelt switch, driver seat relay, and the defogger grid for your rear window. Number five is a pretty vital grounding point, and it's, you can find it behind this cover right here to just outboard of your dead pedal tucked back in here. This has quite a few things that are pretty important. It's got your data link connector, your DIC, your air temperature actuator, instrument panel cluster, traction suspension control switch, driver door module, door latch, door latch driver side, auxiliary power outlet, windshield wiper motor, steering column, footwell courtesy lamp, hazard switch, telescopic actuator switch for your steering wheel, 
remote CD changer, fuse block, speaker right door, speaker left door, and the radio. It could all be found sourced back to this grounding point back in here. All right, this one's kind of hard to see. We can see it right in the middle there. And that big bolt right there, right to the right of it, that is simply your engine ground strap. And that's its only purpose right there. Hope you guys can see that. But uh, for reference, it's right down in here. All right, number seven, we're on the driver's side here. Just kind of outboard of your radiator. You have kind of a big bolt right there. Right behind it, that's another ground point. This is your windshield washer fluid pump, windshield washer fluid level switch, brake fluid switch, headlamp, door assembly for your driver's side. That is your grounding points for all of those guys. All right, number eight here is kind of tucked away, but you can see it right in there. This guy is your cooling fan, right cooling fan, right cooling fan three, relay 44, horn assembly, underhood lamp, headlamp, door assembly, right side. Headlamp door control module, AC compressor clutch, AC compressor clutch diode, secondary air injection pump. All of those can be sourced back to that grounding point right there. All right, and the last one, number nine here. This is for your electronic brake control module and your negative battery terminal, which simply comes off your battery. That's where the battery itself grounds to. It's right down in there. It's kind of rusted. You can kind of see it. On the other side, you can see it over here. Maybe. It's right down in there. What in any case, right inside your battery, you can see it. Not too hard to get to. That's kind of one of your main grounding points. And that one is kind of boogered up. Probably use some cleaning. All right, so those are all your basic grounding points for all your electronics in your car. Again, 90% of the time, if you're having a weird issue with electronics, it's either going to be an internal bulb on this car or a grounding issue. Um, if you have a continuity tester, you can get one at Lowe's, Home Depot. If you're near a radio shack, they'll carry it. Pretty much you can go to the grounding point, find best you can which wire you think is the ground for that component, trace it back, do a continuity, make sure it's got continuity. If it does, chances are your, your point is simply corroded to where it goes onto the chassis. To clean it, super easy. Take a wire brush, some baking soda, and some water, Carefully unscrew the nut, clean it up really good. Maybe put a little bit of CRC electronic in there as well. Let it sit, dry it off, put it back together, and boom, you should have good ground continuity and you should be all set. Well, hopefully this helps someone trying to chase an issue with a specific component. And now you know kind of where to look to, to find the ground point and pinpoint it back to that component and get you going again, hopefully. So anyways, guys, that's a quick little, little tech tip this week. And I'll be back in a couple days for some more Corvette news. Until then, guys, take care, and I'll see you later.